Hi everyone, how are you doing today? I hope that you are having a absolutely wonderful day. Today I'm here with the update to my battleship panning project. If you guys haven't seen this before, it is a super fun panning project in which you play with a partner. I'm playing with Martha Blair here on YouTube. I will have all of the um, information about who started the project and everything down in the description box. Essentially, we are playing a game of battleship, but with our single eyeshadows. This month, very unexpectedly, was a very good one for me. <laughs> I was expecting to maybe have one or two pans. I have five. <laughs> what? I know. So <laughs> I will show you all the pans. I will show you all the shadows that I'm currently working on, still trying to hit pan on. And then I will show you the game board at the end of how the board is looking. So getting right into the eyeshadows. Oh, you know what? Sorry, not getting right into the eyeshadows. I forgot to mention the tea I'm drinking today. Today is Tazo Chai with milk. I like the Tazo wine because it has lots of black pepper in it, which I prefer in my chais. Okay, now to the shadows. If you saw my update last month, then you guys will know that the next shadow I wanted to work on was this one in CoverGirl. I'm gonna put up a picture over here or over here somewhere of how it looked last month. And here I am with a pan in there. I was super surprised in how quickly that happened. I really thought it would happen much slower just because it's such a massive pan of eyeshadow. But the reality is with this shadow that for, me, for it to do much of anything on my lids, I needed quite a bit of shadow. And when I focused it on that edge over here, it happened relatively quickly. So it took 34 uses to hit pan. So that's what I mean by relatively quickly. I know a lot of people would say that's not quick at all, but I was expecting it to be longer. So I am very, very pleased about that one. Oh, and I'm gonna try and put a picture too somewhere of where this shadow is on the board. This next one, is the shade Ritz from ColourPop. This shadow I used a total of 19 times to hit pan on. This may be my very favorite sparkly topper shade. I love it. And I know it's pretty hard to see the pan because it's so shiny, but there is a little pan in there. Not a very big one, but it is there. Another focus shade for me was Shimma Shimma from Makeup Geek. And uh, this one took 42 uses to hit pan. Holy smokes, it took quite a bit. I used it both as a highlighter and as an inner corner shade and some a little bit like on the inner portion of the eyelid. Makeup Geek's shadows are really high quality, so it didn't surprise me that even with a shimmer shade like this, it took a while to reach the little bottom there. This, I love, love, love this shade so much. So that was my third pan, which I was just like over the moon, but I wasn't done. Continuing, I started working on my Suva Beauty shade in the shade Coriander. This is one of my oldest shadows in my collection. So I did have some use on it before I put it in the project, which I talked to her about that and she was okay with not having new shadows in the project. So this did not take too much uh, once I started working on it in this project to finally hit pan on it, which I'm really, really glad to finally have you know use more use showing on this like like I said it is one of my oldest shadows and I do feel like the quality of this one is starting to go down a little bit it's not quite as creamy as it was when I first got it but in total this took 33 uses to hit pan okay, let's talk about one that I haven't hit pan on yet this is one that I'm actively focusing on I'll put up a picture of how it looked last time there was just like a little disturbance on the top and this is how it looks now. I do have a little bit of a dip going. This shade is a little challenging to use. I don't like it in my crease. It's very gray. <laughs> so what I've been using, I've been using it on my lid and then topping it with other things. But this is going to be a challenge to hit pan on. First of all, it's a matte. It's not my favorite shade. And it's a good matte. It's from Makeup Geek, so it's pigmented. So far, this Makeup Geek shade in Sand Dollar has 22 uses on it. A focus shade um, for my lid was the shade Cashmere from NARS and I did manage to hit a little tiny pan in there. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous formula. Like not if you're after like super sparkly like what I've got on my lid today, but if you're after for a really creamy, kind of an elevated looking lid shade, I really, really loved this formula and the shade. I guess a lot of people would term it a satin and not a shimmer, but I thought it was absolutely glorious and the color is so pretty and it took 21 uses to hit that little baby pan. And now for the last shadow that I was working on, this shadow, again, if you guys have been following along, I think you know where I'm going with it. At the end of last month, I had 63 uses on this shadow. I got another 19 uses on it this month, which puts me at 82 uses. Are you guys ready to see this? I'll put up a picture of how it looked last time. And here we are <laughs> this time. 
Oh my goodness, if I turn it in just a certain way, you can see that I finally have a dip going on it, but it's nowhere near even the middle of the pan. I truly don't know. I, I have no clue how long this will take to pan. It's a really good thing that I like this shade, but I do have a feeling that after just one more month of using this through May, I'm going to want to take a break on this in the summertime. There's no way I'll be able to hit pan in a month, and in this summer I'm going to want to wear some of the more warm shades from my project, so I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm really so surprised it's taking so long to hit pan because it is a shade that has kick up, but even with the kick up, the, 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 it just does not move. Did I even say what this was? This is Speedway from Sydney Grace. Okay, I'm gonna throw up the game board, so check it out guys. I now know exactly where her ships are. And at the beginning of this project, I kept getting misses, which was very frustrating. But that means now that I've started to get some hits, I have a very clear indication of where to go. So there on the very far hand left side, there is her three years. In the middle, that's where the tour is, and on the far right-hand side, that's the four. The shimmer shades, I don't think, will give me a problem. They will take some time, especially that Makeup Geek shadow there on the far left-hand side, but I'm not too worried about it. The one that I am worried about is the Sydney Gray shade. I have no clue, like I said, how long it will take me to actually hit pan on it. Despite how long that Sydney Gray shade is taking me, I am so, so happy to finally have some progress in terms of making hits. I was making progress in having pans, but not so much in progress in the game. So happy now that I have a direction. Martha also has been making very good progress. Make sure and go check out her video so you can see her game board. I'm very interested to see the shadows that she's currently working on as well and see how she's coming along. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I really appreciate you hanging out with me and giving me your time today. Let me know down below, do you guys have any shadows that took you over 150 or even 200 uses to hit pan on? Like, is that even the thing that, you know, that happens? <laughs> because I don't feel like I've been light-handed with that Sydney Gray shadow at all. Again, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!